like a mold? It's a fixture. Oh, I got okay. Welding fixture. So it doesn't like roll around while you're welding it? It uh, gives us the rotation that we need on everything. Gotcha. And so it, yeah, so it lines up perfect. Right. The very first step approaching air intake design is we take a very close look at stock intake. So what you are seeing here on the screen is a 3D scan of the engine bay. The pink part I'm showing right now is a shadow, the stock intake pipe. So you can see this is where the turbo inlet is. And this piping is creating multiple bends until it reaches into the air box, including a very aggressive 90 degree turn. Now what you are looking at is the um, 3D design that we have created. So one thing we are able to improve is look at this new intake pipe. So we were able to drastically reduce the overall length of the intake pipe as well as reducing the amount of bend as well as the angle of the bend. This will provide airflow a smoother pass into the turbo. We do not have our intake pipe production sample here yet, so what you are looking at is a prototype. The final product is going to have the CNC machine map housing welded to this mandrel bend aluminum piping with appropriate bracketry attached, and this entire piping weldment is going to be powder coated. Second thing we improved drastically over the stock intake is intake sound. So we create a heat shield that is partially open. The importance of heat shield, or some people may call this air, air box, is to isolate the air fuser so we are not taking a hot engine bay air. So the port on the front, this is where the factory fresh air scoop is. So this feeds fresh air scoop out from the grill into the air fuser. Look at the side of the heat shield. The fender side is completely open, the bottom side is completely open. So this heat shield will shield intake air from the hot engine side, which is located right over here. But it will also allow for louder intake noise to reach a cabin. That's what we want for a turbo car. One thing that is um, unique about this intake is um, this is actually our first time using a hybrid sheet metal heat shield air box with a clear polycarbonate lid. So with a clear lid you can easily see the air filter. You can see when it gets dirty and needs to be replaced. Another benefit is this is also plastic so it have a better um, insulation against protection against so engine bay temp can go over to 200 degree Fahrenheit. Um, this is the material that is rated for uh, high heat applications. And it also gives the air boss like a different aesthetics. The main design challenge of designing an aftermarket air intake for a mass airflow based vehicle is how we're gonna make our map housing to closely match the stock map calibration. What that means is when you design an aftermarket intake, you are usually increasing the amount of flow. This sometimes will throw off the mass airflow sensor calibration. We try to adjust the location of the sensor, the diameter of the housing, to make our intake reading match very close to the stock intake. So what you are looking at here is a three prototype that we use throughout the process. So 
This one is printed in house using a PLA material. This one is a cured nylon powder form SLS printed part. So the advantage of uh, this SLS part versus this regular FDM process printed 3D print part is this is made with nylon. With a prototype like this, uh, we're okay to run it on a dyno, but we cannot run it like an actual metal part would on a vehicle long term. But this part we can. Once that is done, we'll be switching to a full metal production sample. This is our last check to make sure everything is accurate and this is also the stage where we sort out any potential manufacturing issues.